So I said originally, you know, after I made the just the video talking about the Alex Payer accusations that if there was any updates or anything like that, I would make a follow up video. Uh, and we just had the accuser's friend that she was with Jess come out and address the situation a little bit. So I just thought I would add this because I, I guess it does it is worth mentioning because it does it doesn't give us all the answers but it does seem to lean towards one of the ways uh, so I'm just gonna play the video and then just give my thoughts on it so yeah let's just play this right now <laughs> So she said in that clip, I was in no way essayed, meaning, you know, sexually assaulted. So she's saying she wasn't sexually assaulted in any way. Now I know that doesn't, she didn't address anything to do with Alex Pahaya or the Meredith, I think her name was, but it does, I feel like it is worth mentioning because obviously she also says I'm still friends with the guy, Melvin, I think his name was, he was the translator guy, teammate of Alex Pahaya. And, you know, the accuser was saying that, you know, Melvin was doing weird stuff as well, I believe he was saying. Like, they were both, like, sort of weird, and it felt like Melvin was setting them up and all this stuff. But obviously, this Jess uh, girl has a different look on the situation, because she said, nothing will change, I'll always be frozen with Melvin. That doesn't sound like someone who had just been set up to be in the fucking, like, hotel room of a fucking monster. You know, the way that she was speaking. Now... Again, this doesn't completely exonerate uh, Alex Pahaya by any means, but it does. It does feel like she she doesn't address you know if Alex did or didn't do it, but it does seem like she's like taking digs at her friend as well. Obviously, she's unfollowed her friend on Instagram as well since the accusations came out, and she says at the end. I'll never start an OnlyFans like that. I, I maybe I'm really looking too much into it, but it feels like a dig at the accuser. You know, saying yeah, I'll never start an OnlyFans. Like it was just out of nowhere too. Like it just it does feel like maybe a dig. Maybe I'm just looking too much into this. Maybe I'm a, I'm a chronic overthinker. Maybe I'm overthinking this a little bit. But I don't know. It's just fishy. Let's just let's just play this play this clip again, real quick. Like, I don't know, just the way she looks after saying it as well, you know, I would never have an OnlyFans. It just felt like a dig, right? Like, I don't know. I feel like she doesn't want to have herself mixed up with this drama. Uh, and I guess I'm not really helping her by making this video. But when a man's reputation's at stake for what appears to be possibly a false accusation, I'm going to talk about it. Uh... But yeah, it's really unfortunate situation. I'm leaning towards, you know, the, the, it not being true. I'm not there in the situation. Some can come out of the changes. But just everything that's come out does point to me that I think Alex Payer is innocent uh, in this situation. But I don't know, maybe some groundbreaking thing will come out. But I don't know. I just wanted to talk about this because I fucking spent like six minutes screen recording this woman's Instagram live trying to find if she would mention anything because there was moments where she wouldn't mention it or she'd read a comment but she wouldn't acknowledge the situation. Maybe she signed like an NDA or something like that. Who knows? Maybe she's not legally allowed to talk about it. But she did mention this bit here and I fucking got it on record. Thank fuck. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to talk about. I did want to do this update. Unless something groundbreaking comes out about the situation, you know, maybe there's like more proof that if there's proof Alex did it or there's proof the Meredith chick lied, then I'm not going to acknowledge the situation again unless there's means to. So, yeah, thank thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like this video. Share this video. Uh, 
yeah, because that would help a lot. Subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you guys next time. And yeah, uh, yeah, hopefully it turns out Alex just is completely innocent. But what a fucking crazy week. Uh, just shows if you're in the spotlight, anyone could just make an allegation. If the, if it is true that Meredith, Meredith made all this up, she's completely set the fucking uh, actual uh, victims of sexual assault back by doing this. I hate when people do this because... It makes people not believe people when there's actually, like, fucking, you know, they've gone through something traumatic, like, actual sexual assault or something like that. It's, just, it's, it's despicable. It's it's disgusting. But, again, I guess we'll see if anything else comes out. But that's all I've got to talk about. So, thanks for watching. Uh, and, yeah, the UFC card today fucking sucked. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.